Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a 99 SPX 951 update. I'm getting close to being done with all the work that I'm going to do and then Ben will be finishing it. We got that beautiful 951 engine in here. Look at that. We got it aligned with our alignment tool. She's pretty damn snug. We got our hoses ran. This one will run up to the exhaust pipe, the bottom of the exhaust pipe. We got our oil lines ran. We got our jug line ran. You can see it there that, that runs out to the exhaust port. We got the baler lines here. The balers are in. Don't have the pump on them, so the fittings that these hook up to will be right there. I've got the pister lines pretty much ran from the back of the pister up here, and then it'll go to the pipe here. So yeah, we're getting pretty close. We've got the uh, one pulse line here plugged, so we're not going to be using that. Um, and then we got our other pulse line here that go up to here, go up to the carb. And here you can see our special mount with the uh, spacer, the body lift spacer. It helps it gives it that extra support. Open up the hood here. There's our oil lines. We got our shut off there. Because that doesn't go to anything. On the 800, that would go to the rotary valve. Um, so we just kind of plug that with a shut off valve. This way you can hook up another hose to it and pump the oil out. We got our filter and stuff attached. Um, this one will probably be getting a different tank, which Ben can put in later. Um, so not everything here is buttoned up. But we also have our shutoff up there for the other vent. For that one, that would have been the return on the 800, which we're not using. So that's where we're sitting at right now. Um, need to get some more of this blue line which will run from here there'll be a T here which will go to the water regulator and then go up and around and go to this fitting that's the supply line so we need some more blue line but yeah we're ready to get the pipe in and make sure we have plenty of clearance I've got the pipe sitting right here So, let me get that in position, and we'll be ready to install that. We take our pipe. gaskets in place and fighting what am I fighting with Fitting down there has been 
does fit. I'm just catching. There we go. I was catching other Okay, so we were hitting down there, right here. It's a tight fit, but now we got everything in. And we got everything bolted up. Everything's not torqued yet, but everything is in place. So we know it fits. As you can see right in there, we got a tight clearance there and down there at the bottom. But we've taken out as much as we can from the pipe and the fiberglass. But this is sitting, this engine is sitting up a little higher because we had to put in all these shims in order to get our alignment done. Um, so it's sitting up higher than on my 95. And that's causing a little bit of issues, nothing much. But we've got plenty of play so we can rock this engine back and forth. And we're good to go so we need to get exhaust clamps for all these spots I got the back buttoned up so we're all good there and we got oil good there got to work on a few other things and then she'll be ready to take to Ben's and Ben can work on the electrical he'll take the exhaust pipe back out he'll probably throw some paint on it but he's got to run the uh, oil cable from the pump to the carbs and of course hook up all of his lines and the electrical and then the pipe will probably be in after that um, so the pipe probably the last thing to go in other than the pump and stuff but I've spent a lot of hours on this on this build and uh, there's the pump alignment tool but she's come along a long ways And Ben can finish it up. He can do his electrical work, do his carbs, his cables, get the exhaust back in there. But I'll be taking it to his place probably this weekend. So he can have more to work on over the winter. Um, so I'll keep you updated on his project, on his progress, on his project. But I'm pretty much done working on it now. I've got a few other things I've got to work on. I've got to get this GTI, this 96 GTI, I gotta get the engine aligned in that. And gotta get it winterized. And then both of these will be going to storage and um, both of them will probably be up for sale next year. I plan on selling this one first. And then I'm going to ride this one, keep this one, until I get th that GTX going. This one will be the one I will keep uh, as a family ski and a larger three-person ski. Something my parents can ride. Instead of plenty of power to pull a tube and whatnot. Um, but I do like the reliability of the little 720. But I'll just keep this until that one is done. So and then that one will be up for sale. Uh, update on the 95 720. As you can see I got the kill guard on. Got it all. Bottom all cleaned up I've got to replace this sponson and put one on here as well 
But yeah, it looks a lot better from all that oxidation from before. Um, but I'll get the sponsons on, and then this one will be pretty much go to storage until I get the engine ready to go in it. Here's the DI, the 90, or the 01 DI. Um, had this out in the lake. It's going into some weird limp mode. Uh, I got to figure it out, but I did run antifreeze through it, and sprayed some fogging oil in the cylinders. So it's pretty much winterized. That's one of the 95 800 there that's going to be on my next project. The other one's in the shed. But here's the other 99. This one's going to be mine. We got it upside down on the stand. As you can see, we've got some minor nicks there, here, there, and there. I was able to get all the bolts and screws loose, so we're good there. We'll take the, the trim tabs off when we start wet sanding it and buffing it. Um, I'm going to wet sand it once with some 800 grit and then I'm going to fill in um, some gel coat filler on these spots and then wet sand it again um, with uh, several different grits. Work my way up to about 2,000, 2,500 grit and then it'll get buffed and polished and then we'll get a kill guard on this one. We'll get a nice kill guard that will actually cover that up, but we still want to patch it anyway. So we'll get a kill guard on this one as well while it's upside down. And um, so yeah, stay tuned for the progress on this. I'll continue on this one before winter. Um, but the goal with it is get the bottom all done and prepped, get it flipped back up, put in storage, and then come spring, we'll prep the top, and the top will be redone in a red gel coat and this will be a, a red and black ski so I'm debating do I want a black kill guard or do I want a red kill guard I think a red kill guard would kind of make it pop but a black kill guard would blend in so I'm debating on what to do with that I gotta order that in the next few days so the winter here uh, in Minnesota is coming up soon so Lots of progress to get done before it gets real cold. So back to Ben's 99. She's all ready. She's all ready for you, Ben. She's coming your way. You can finish it up. Get your electrical work done. Get all the plumbing done. And we'll, I'll get the pump redone for you. And I'll get that to you. Once you figure out what impeller you're going to run. So, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching the channel, guys. I'll keep you posted. Um, if you're looking in information on this 951 project, I uh, hope this channel has been a good, uh, hope this project has been a good resource for you. If you have any questions, let me know. So, peace out, guys. See you on the water.